the Sun former royal editor Duncan Larkham reacts to King Charles III's address to a mourning nation after the death of Queen Elizabeth on America reports. King Charles III delivered his first Christmas broadcast as Britain's reigning monarch on Sunday. The late Queen Elizabeth II had been giving televised addresses since 1957, although the tradition dates back to King George V, her grandfather, in 1932. Introduced after a rousing rendition of God Save the King, King Charles began his speech by thanking those who had extended their condolences to his family. I am standing here in this exquisite chapel of St. George in Windsor Castle so close to where my beloved mother, the late Queen, is laid to rest with my dear father, he said. I am reminded of the deeply touching letters, cards and messages which so many of you have sent my wife and myself. And I cannot thank you enough for the love and sympathy you have shown our whole family. Prince Andrew surprisingly attends Christmas service with King Charles. 3. Prince William King Charles III gave his first Christmas address after his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth II's death in September. Victoria Jones, Poole, this year's broadcast was pre-taped in St. George's Chapel in Windsor, remembered as being the resting place for the Queen's committal service in September following her death. Christmas is a particularly poignant time for all of us who have lost loved ones. We feel their absence at every familiar turn of the season and remember them in each cherished tradition, he added. King Charles touched upon his mother's belief in God as well as her faith in the people. Sentiments which he shares. It is a belief that the extraordinary ability for each person to touch with goodness and compassion the lives of others and to shine a light in the world around them. This is the essence of our community and the very foundation of our society, he said. He thanked the armed forces, emergency services, healthcare professionals, teachers, and all those in public service whose skill and commitment are at the heart of our communities. The king also touched upon the light being present in people facing conflict, famine, or natural disaster, or for those at home finding ways to pay their bills and keep their families fed and warm. We see it in the humanity of people throughout our nations and the commonwealth who so readily respond to the plight of others. King Charles III announces first trooping the color, reveals new titles for royal family the Duke and Duchess of Wales were mentioned specifically by the King in his Christmas address. Click here to sign up for the entertainment newsletter the King specifically called out his appreciation for his son and daughter-in-law, Prince William and Kate Middleton. The Prince and Princess of Wales recently visited Wales, shining a light on practical examples of this community spirit. Footage of the couple Along with King Charles, Camilla, the Queen Consort, the late Queen, and Prince Edward was shown over the course of the 8.5-minute video. King Charles touched upon his very important trip to Bethlehem in 2020. YouTube slash the royal family, the monarch also addressed his transformative trip to Bethlehem and the Church of the Nativity. There I went down into the chapel of the manger and stood in silent reverence by the silver star that is inlaid on the floor and marks the place of our Lord Jesus Christ's birth. It meant more to me than I can possibly express to stand on that spot where the Bible tells us the light that has come into the world was born, he said. While Christmas is of course a Christian celebration, the power of light overcoming darkness is celebrated across the boundaries of faith and belief. So whatever faith you have or whether you have none, it is in this life, giving light and with the true humility that lies in our service to others, that I believe we can find hope for the future. Let us, therefore, celebrate it together and cherish it always. Click here to get the Fox News app he concluded his message by saying, With all my heart I wish each of you the Christmas of peace, happiness, and everlasting life. Caroline Thayer is an entertainment writer for Fox News Digital. Follow Caroline Thayer on Twitter at at Caroline Edge Thayer.